welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today. My name's Elle, and today I want to take some steps to get my shit together because for the past couple of weeks, for the past like week and a half or so, past two weeks, I have been feeling just really lost and just really stuck in my own head feeling like really unable to just get out of my own head. It's hard to, this process is hard. It's not easy and it isn't going to happen overnight, but like, ugh, I don't even, I can't even really formulate, I feel like I can't even really formulate a coherent sentence right now. But I've just felt incredibly lost and just distraught. Like, I know you also just need to let yourself be in that moment because like, when you just surrender to those feelings, that's whenever change is most likely to happen. And yeah, I was trying to fight it for a while, but I just stopped because I was getting mad at myself. Like, why am I upset? Like, why am I not doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing? But... <clears throat> It's also like not an obligation like spirituality isn't an obligation like I don't want to make it into like a routine part of my life like I want it to be something that I look to whenever I need and yeah not something that I feel like I have to do and I felt like it was almost kind of getting to that point too yeah I don't want to paint the picture that everything is rainbows and butterflies because because it isn't always rainbows and butterflies and I don't want to make it seem like it is because like I said I want to be absolutely 100% authentic in every single aspect of my life and posting on the internet like I'm healing so well and that everything is going so well just wouldn't be the reality of things get on the right track because Literally, what is the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that could happen if I'm just living just fully for myself? Like, because other people's opinions don't matter. Other people's opinions don't matter, but like, why do I think they matter so much? Because if I'm just constantly living to fulfill other people, like, if I'm just constantly living based off of other people's standards and other people's ideas of success, I will never truly be happy. And that is all I want in life. All I want in life is to truly just be happy. And I cannot have that unless I am just absolutely 100% fluidly living for myself. And it is just, uh, it's such a hard learning process and it isn't easy and I'm trying not to get mad at myself and it's so hard to not get mad at myself for the steps that I take back for like when I set myself back and for whenever I do get in like a negative headspace or like my depression gets the best of me some days. Like it's so hard to not get mad at myself but it's like spirituality won't cure my depression spirituality like won't cure my anxiety like i know that you know like that isn't going to happen and i don't want to also paint that picture that i think spirituality will cure your mental illnesses because like that is not the reality of things like i mean it can help like it can help a lot but i'm not going to claim that it cures it
just in this mason jar. She's not home from work yet, so this will be, or like she's at work all night. So this will be a fun little surprise for her to come home to. So the first book that I picked up was Friendship and Other Essays by Ralph Waldo Emerson. In this collection of essays, Emerson reflects on friendship, love, heroism, and the other qualities which represent the best humanity has to offer. So, yes, I'm going to read this. I think the cover is just absolutely so cute. Like, it is just such a pretty yellow. Wow. The Clockwork 3 by Matthew J. Kirby. This was in the YA section. Giuseppe is an orphaned street musician who sees no way to escape from his ruthless master until the day he finds an enchanted green violin. Frederick is an apprentice clockmaker with a past he cannot remember, who secretly works to build the most magnificent clockwork man the world has ever seen. Hannah is a maid in a grand hotel whose life is one of endless drudgery until she encounters a mystifying new guest and learns of a hidden treasure. As mysterious circumstances bring them together, the lives of these three children soon interlock like the turning gears of a clock, and they realize that each one holds the key to the other's puzzles. The trio's adventures sweep them through the winding alleyways and glittering plazas of their city, and along the way, Giuseppe, Hannah, and Frederick must learn to trust in one another and in themselves, for they risk losing the things they hold most dear, as the dangers they face quickly become all too real. It just sounds like super fun and just, yeah, I don't know, it just sounds like a really fun lighthearted read. Very much trying to get back into reading and explore more genres as I'm getting back into reading. So I'm trying to stray away from YA romance. And the next book that I picked up was Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. and this sounds amazing like genuinely i don't think i've ever really been into like thriller murder mystery true crime novels but i love true crime stories like i love like actual like i mean yeah like i love true crime and lastly to complete my collection i have new moon we have her she is in my possession I now have the original, or the full original Twilight series. I haven't really been vlogging the past few days. Like, I've been recording what I'm doing, I guess, but I haven't really sat down and talked to you all in quite a few days. My brain has just felt really frazzled, and I felt like I feel like I can't even really form coherent thoughts right now so I didn't have anything to say and I didn't want to just sit here and talk about nonsense to the camera. I feel like I just have been kind of in like a creative roadblock, just kind of a roadblock overall in kind of just everything. Um, and I don't know, I'm just saying this to make it known that everything isn't good all the time and I don't want to project that everything is good all the time. 